Today is the last day, guys. We are headed out. I haven't really announced where we're staying, but a lot of people figured it out, man, because believe it or not, we've had a few visitors. We are loading up this morning and headed out to Flagstaff. We're gonna make it out to the Overlanding Expo. This event is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Like there's a lot of people that I know that are gonna be there, which is cool. The toy hauler that I have is only 20 foot, but even that was too big for their designated campsite. So we're gonna have to find some public land in the area. But yeah, it is a little bittersweet. I've had a really amazing time here met a lot of great people and also man for the past month we've been like the only people camping here it's literally felt like we own land out here like we've had 100 acres to ourselves. pretty amazing feeling and in the summer everybody leaves and all the snowbirds and tourists come back in the winter which will probably be me from now on but yeah i gotta get back and we're gonna start getting everything cleaned up and ready for the road You know you are not a minimalist when. We got way too much stuff to be living like this. Like I wanna be able to stop at locations and camp and not have to unload all this stuff. It takes a lot of the fun out of it, so. We need to be donating some of this stuff. I agree. What do you say, Diesel? Did you have a good time? He says, yeah, but the desert has been a little rough. It's time to roll, baby! Just finished up at the Carefree Camper Company, got the fresh water tank filled up, and man, we are loaded down with some weight. The old Tundra's doing a wheelie. And it sucks that I couldn't stay a little longer because my cousin Josh actually had airbags for Tundra. I'll have to snag those at a later date. We are headed to Flagstaff, and we should be back here in a few months. It'll be a little bit, but I'm sure not much will change. Hopefully a lot will change with the trailer progress, man. That is true. We got a whole other project that we're coming back to. That's the only reason we're coming back, really. So stay tuned for that. We're going to hit the road and get a good drive in. What do you say, buddy? You ready to get out of the desert? Yeah. Stop. Oh God, what do we get? We got tweaker honey, bud. Yeah. Said it's like desert flower or some shit. Oh, how much was it? 10 bucks. That's not bad. Got ourselves some honey. What a beautiful evening. So we were just waiting on the Carefree Convoy to pull up right now. We're headed into Flagstaff. We're gonna grab some dinner and find a campsite. Unfortunately, we're gonna be pulling up in the dark, so that's always fun, but we'll get it done and it should be a really fun weekend. I hope to meet some of you guys and girls and yeah, just have a really good time. So far, everything's good, man. The Tundra's handling it like a bouse. <sighs> What up guys? Chilly this morning. We got here in the dark, which was not ideal. Broke some shit, but ready to rock and roll. How'd you sleep? Like a baby. How'd you sleep? Nice and comfy up here. How'd you sleep? Like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you sleep, Diesel? I 
am so stoked to be up in the mountains. We got pine trees, we got grass. We have cooler temperatures. It's like 60 degrees right now, hoodie and shorts weather. It feels fucking amazing. So we are headed to a site right now to drop the truck and trailer and then we are heading to the expo. Pretty stoked. How was your night? Was My night was good? good, yeah. The poblanos were hitting, man. Oh. A little stanky, but you know, we made it. The cooler temperature is made for a good night's sleep. For sure. So this is my kind of territory. Let's go! Let's go. After a very long morning, we are finally headed to the expo. Got everything locked and loaded, scored a bomb ass campsite for the night. Hello, Judd. Caleb and I apologize, man. You're off trying to have fun, not interfering. Oh, no, you're fine. What are you thinking, Caleb? It's pretty legit. I'm excited. A lot of rigs, man. That 400. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this! Woo! Adventure Daily booby collab. Oh, good Ow. <laughs> we are at the expo. Two hours late. And it doesn't allow cold. <laughs> it doesn't allow uh, like the. Holy fuck! Now we never have. It's whatever you, whatever you want to. It's lived in. Yeah, yeah exactly. Good what, answer. It's used. We like functional rigs that are actually used. We have a Unimog that we want to build, yeah. okay, and so we're looking for a box. That was one of the missions while we're here. And so I asked him, I said, how much for just the shell? He said, we start at for 15 foot, $350,000. For the 22 foot, 650 grand. Just for the shell. I could build Half two houses. Half a million dollars a bargain. <laughs> what a deal. Like, what a yeah, deal. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Let me get two of those. Right. <laughs> Ooh, do you see the husky? Oh, buddy. There's a map. Working my way up. I have no These rigs are awesome, but my god, you're talking about like a mansion in the hills for some of these prices. It is ridiculous. That's heavy. Look at this. Dude. It's so heavy. In the microwave. That is a huge shower. Yeah, I've actually seen these. Let's go. Mm. We got some food, and then we can walk around because we were getting a little uh, fuzzy on an empty stomach, so it's a lot to take in. I really didn't expect it to be this big, to be honest. Like, I don't think we'll get to touch it all. A lot of rigs, a lot of rigs. The area itself, though, is super chill. Like, it reminds me a lot of Colorado. Just nice seeing these pine trees again and sitting down, not sweating your ass off in the desert. Like, to think it's like a 15 degree difference right now. It's chilly right now. But it's perfect, love it. Yeah, I think we're gonna stay in Flagstaff for a little while. Sheesh. How was it? Oh God! Food. Do you want the rest of this? Oh Jesus! Are you serious? We just spotted the decked booth, so we're gonna go check it out because we got one coming, baby. 
Oh, dude, they feel so good. Oh, dude, the ball bearings are so nice. Even with 200 pounds, it just kind of shuts itself. So what, what do they actually come with, like, without adding any add-ons or anything? Yeah, so stock, it comes with one um, one cross box, one D box, which I think I buried like way in the back, probably. Yeah, it's twice twice one of these, and then a organizer, and then a bunch of dividers. So, so it give you enough to get started, but yeah. kind of... So that's the one. Yes. It comes gotcha. in one of these and one of those. Okay. Yes. So we give you enough to get started, but kind of leave the rest oh, up yeah. to you based on what your needs are. Yeah. So a lot of people in the trades will buy more of them. Yeah. For sure. That's Good nice. free recovery gear, stuff that you don't yeah. need. We got the, the Tundra with the six and a half foot bed too, so it'll be pretty, a lot of storage. Right on. Awesome. They're pretty sweet. I'll never not have one at this point. Yeah, in my life. exactly. It's made me so lazy. Because <laughs> we got dirt bikes too, so oh, I'm yeah. just right on, on top. That. Right on top. And Perfect. Boom. Let's go. They hooked us up. These weren't even I'm, supposed to be free. I'm stoked. Yeah. Like just looking at it, like this, that is so heavy duty. Yeah, for sure. Like the plastic, everything, it's definitely quality. And it was cool that they actually make them in Defiance, Ohio. Yeah, absolutely. It's interesting to know. I can see you it. Can see it like. Oh, 690, bud. Easy. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Dude, that's good quality too. It is. Oh, I like that. Dude, I'm stoked on It's that. big. Let's say you go rafting or something, you literally put all your stuff in your cameras. That's what I was just... So, but he's diagonal, so you could not. So you're sleeping in the rooftop tent. I have a whole other headspace. Hey, you look good. That's the bike. Oh, like I know this guy from somewhere, and I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> oh, right. Adam does our social media, so he's oh, cool. with everybody. There awesome. you go. Jenny's learning to ride. It's my second ride ever. You're gonna kill it. Thank you. <laughs> go pro her up. Jenny's gonna do the first wheelie on this course ever. <laughs> You should sign up. Now that they know who you were, I don't think they would let you sign up. No. Did someone say they needed a large for a hobby? Um, yeah. Walk up to it. Are with our right hand, we reach across, grasp the hand grip, and squeeze the front brake. And over. And then we'll stand the motorcycle up. How do we use it? It's a nice, smooth squeeze. I would recommend this type of squeeze. Hold on. Hold on. Makes noise, doesn't it? Let's go, Jenny! How's she doing? 
phenomenal. Yeah. I think she's having a blast. Well, Absolutely yeah. picked up the skill sets. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for the patience. Very good teacher. It's fun. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I know it was all of, what, 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. If that, yeah. yeah. When you've been doing it so much, you kind of, well, for me, you kind of overlook like the very little things that's helpful to yes. new writers. Yes. Things that become automatic are just not for new yeah. people. I only fell once. <laughs> yes, it was fun. Okay, it took me a while to get it. What did you think of the T-Dub though? It was Com cool. Compared to the Z. I think it was easier. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really than the Grom? Yeah, but the Grom, I could have my feet planted on the ground better. True. Yeah. And I was like, can I put my feet up? Can I? And he was like, no, don't put your feet up yet. Don't put your feet Not up yet. yet. And I'm like, bruh, my feet don't touch. I think if you just would have hopped on, you would have been able to ride. But you kind of got in your head with him trying to tell you a million things at once. Yeah. Barry, Barry will hey, what's going on? How old is he? Hey. Uh, he'll be four in June. Four in June? Yeah. This is really... Dude! Yeah, so we have the kindling bag here. You can stuff kindling in. You can also fold the bag up and tuck it in your seat back pocket so you have it available whenever you need it. Store kindling in there. The bag's designed to be scalable. So it'll wrap around the wood tightly if you have more wood, less wood. And then got a lot of extension on these straps right here to allow you to cinch it up. We use premium hardware on this whole thing so you can get, get a little rough with it if you want to. Stick them in the cord pocket right here so they're not flapping around the breeze. The nice thing is when you get to camp, you just take over the campfire, undo these buckles right here, and just fold it open. And then you can just slow feed your fire right out of the bag. And then it never fails wherever you put the firewood at is where there's no smoke. So you don't want to end up moving the firewood. So you right. just grab the two handles and pick yeah, it up and move it. Smart. And then at the end of the evening when you're getting ready to bed down, just fold this over. It'll keep the rain and the dew off of it so you got dry wood in the morning. Pirate Adventure gear. Oh, down to mob, baby. Yeah, that's cool. That was pretty nice. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Did you have fun? Yes. Caleb, did you have fun? A blast. I learned how to ride a bike. <laughs> but all of our feet hurt very bad. Oh yeah, we're about done, guys. <laughs> we are all bad. ready to go oh, sit yeah. and relax. And eat. And eat, eat some food. Yeah, cook that's out. The board. We got a beautiful spot we too. We do, so for sure. We'll have to get it set up for the night and get to grilling. It's yeah. Dodge Mahal days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost wrapped up here and then we... Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Thanks, brother. Well, that pretty much wraps up Saturday at the Expo. It was a really good time and would we'll definitely go back again. Absolutely, we saw a lot. Saw a lot of people, saw a lot of rigs, a lot of vendors. There's everything you could absolutely imagine. Honestly, I think the end goal is definitely to have some obnoxious truck camper, mini earth roamer on a budget, something like that. The Carefree team will hopefully make that happen someday. We got you covered, <laughs> I got a plan. Let's go. <laughs> We're making our baby steps up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe to all the channels and follow for updates. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace. Little well, Chef Lex up in here. Cooked up the feast. Oh, 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 oh. oh Diesel ruined it. Talks to you.